Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. Pimples always seem to show up at the worst possible time, especially before you're taking photos or before a very important event. But there is a way to get rid of them almost overnight. In today's video, I'll be showing you how. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel, I post a lot of skincare, makeup, hair, and lifestyle related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. And without further ado, let's get started. In order to solve a problem, you have to first figure out what caused it. Most pimples are the result of a clogged pore. There is a number of ways that pimples can present themselves, but for the purpose of today's video, we're going to be talking about the generic pimple with the little white head on top that's a little irritated and definitely a little bit red. As we mentioned before, these pimples are a result of a clogged pore, so we need help from our products to unclog it. You'll want to use a cleanser that is antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and it even has a few extra pore unclogging ingredients. Two of my favorite types of cleansers will be a benzoyl peroxide cleanser. This will help to fight off any bacteria on the skin and make sure that the pore doesn't become infected. And number two, salicylic acid, which is an amazing ingredient that unclogs the actual pore. Now, both of these are quite drying ingredients. You don't have to use both of them. Just choose one that works for you. Step two, you're gonna wanna try to reduce the inflammation in the skin. One of the best ways to do so is actually by icing your pimple. Now don't put the ice directly on your skin. This is a big no-no that I see a lot of people doing, myself included, I've done it at one point in time as well. So you're gonna to wanna to take your ice and wrap it in some sort of towel or material. I like using either a t-shirt or a pillowcase because it's a bit thinner and it's a lot more gentler on the skin. Don't hold it in one place though, just kind of make sure that you're rubbing it around the area as well because you don't want to get any serious freezer burns on your skin. That is a no-no, it is not fun, trust me. If you have some sort of jade roller or some sort of massaging crystal, you can put that into the freezer as well and use that as your icicle method. Or you can actually just use some spoons, put them in the freezer, they'll be super, super cold, and you can put that on your face to get rid of some of the inflammation. Once you've done your cooling, you want to hydrate your skin. This is when you're gonna be applying any toners or serums that specifically combat irritation on your skin. Now, you can, if you want, use a serum with some sort of active ingredient to further work on your skin, but personally, I find that the cleanser is just enough and you don't need a separate serum. If you feel like you do, you can always go ahead and apply a acne targeting serum just to make sure that you're getting all those benefits while you sleep or throughout the day. You're gonna to wanna to use products that have very soothing or calming ingredients like niacinamide, green tea, or mugwort. These will help to fight inflammation in the skin and really calm down the redness and any irritation that may be uh, appearing on your skin because of that clogged pimple. After applying my serums, I like to let that soak into my skin a little bit before applying my moisturizer. The next product you're gonna apply is a pimple patch. The pimple patches that I'm currently using are from Hero Cosmetics. These are their original Mighty Patches. These are comfortably thin and very adhesive hydrocolloid pimple patches that work twofold. Number one, they help to extract the pus that is within the pimple. So it's gonna help to dry it out a little bit without leaving some sort of scab because it's not open to air. And that leads us into the second thing, it actually protects it against further bacteria or anything getting in the pimple. As you can see, I did have a pimple on my forehead, so this was the perfect time to go ahead and film this. I went ahead and applied this pimple patch right on top while my skin was still drying down from a serum product and left it on moisturizer because I feel like when you apply it on top of your moisturizer it just creates another lubricated layer and prevents it from adhering properly so my best recommendation would be to apply them after your serums versus on top of your moisturizer once they are on your skin though they are not going anywhere you can go ahead and apply your moisturizer right on top to lock in the hydration and the moisture everywhere else on your skin without impacting or moving your pimple patch they are so thin and very 
very comfortable on your face to wear them all day, you honestly forget that it's even there. Another great way to use them is actually overnight, and I prefer doing it this way as well. They need to stay on for at least six to eight hours, so when you're sleeping, it's the perfect time to do that. After six to eight hours, when you wake up, you'll find that the pimple is almost completely flat, virtually non-existent, or just completely non-existent, and that is honestly such a beautiful feeling. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and let me know what are your tips and tricks for getting rid of pimples ASAP. I would love to know. Go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye.